it's Miss Frodo. Today I wanted to take a look at these Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putties. Um, these are, they're classified as sort of a nerd toy. You can find them in um, random gift shops or online. Um, and they all do different things. So it's sort of like really fancy silly putty. It is for ages three and up because um, a little kid could hurt themselves with this. This, the first one is Reactive Raz. It is a super magnetic putty. So it is magnetized. <laughs> There's a magnet in here, I believe. Yeah. See if I can dig that out for you. It's like really firm, silly putty. But it's got sparkles and stuff in it, so it's really pretty. So it's magnetized itself to this man magnet. <laughs> Okay, so there's the little magnet that comes with it. And the magnet really sticks to the tin, and the putty sticks to the magnet. And they give you a good amount in these tins. It's like three things of silly putty. Um, they tend to cost about twelve to fifteen dollars, depending on where you get them. to all of them. <laughs> so anything magnetic, you could stick this to your fridge if you wanted to. Um, just be careful that it doesn't fall on the floor and get dirty. Um, these don't dry out, but you don't want to get them exposed to water. Um, if they do get wet, uh, I saw a hint online that says you should set them on a piece of paper so that the paper can absorb some of the moisture. That's a really strong magnet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put the reactive Raz back in its home for now, and I'm gonna take a look at Twilight. This is a hypercolor putty, and it's really in there. Okay, oh, I wasn't expecting it to look like that. Um, so I believe that it changes color with heat. Let's see if we can get it to work. I'll give your hands a workout. All right, that's. I think my hands are too cold. I'm gonna have to try to warm up my hands. Okay, I'm back. So you really can't tell. Oh no, it's so cold in this room. It is January in the Northeast. So this is just not gonna stay hot enough. Um, but it has turned a lighter color here. I ended up pressing it up against the side of a kettle. Um, and it's already fading back. So I just can't keep it warm enough in this room. Um, but it does turn from uh, sort of a darker blue to a lighter blue. If it was the middle of summer, I might be able to show you a little more. And that is Hypercolor Twilight. And I've picked up these three mini tins. These are pretty cute. I got these uh, for $2.99 each from a place called Bull Moose, uh, which does music, movies, toys, games, a little bit of everything. Uh, it's a main based shop. Um, they all come with their own little warning, choking hazard, not for children under three years, small parts. Uh, so I'm gonna open these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the plastic wrap off of them. And these three are from the Super Illusions series. Uh, so we have Super Oil Slick, we have Super Scarab, and we have Super Lava. So these ones basically just look cool. Let's start with Lava. That's very neat. You're not going to be able to get all the colors on the camera, unfortunately. But let me pull it out of there. So this is about, it's a little more than you get in an egg of Silly Putty. It's like Silly Putty for big kids. It's made to look like lava. And on these tins, I wanted to point out, they do say the different things you can do with this. You can sculpt it, bounce it, stretch it, tear it, shatter it. So I've been just sculpting it, really. Let's see if I can show you how it bounces. Yes, it's very bouncy. <laughs> you can tear it. Oh, it tears not like you'd think because it's sort of liquidy so you can pull it like that but if you want to just 
No, now I can't get it to do it. If you tear it, it tears more like paper or something. And not ha sure how you shatter it. Um, I'm sure somebody else has a YouTube video on with shattering that I'd love to see. Um, but it's just really cool. And then it turns sort of into a liquid the longer you uh, just let it be. So that is my super lava. Next up, I have super oil slick. <laughs> wow, they make that hard to get into. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's because it's stuck to the top of the container. All right, yeah, that, that makes it difficult. Okay. Oh, it looks really cool. It's really sticky. Okay, now it's acting like super putty. It just comes off. It really doesn't normally stick to other things. Ooh. So the oil's like, it's just all different colors. And again, you can stretch, you can shape, you can tear. Oops, I can't tear. Crazy Aaron, what are you talking about? There, you have to move really fast, I think. Yeah, and then you can tear it. That's really cool. And one more is Super Scarab. Oh, that one was much easier to get out. Oh, that one's pretty. I was really looking forward to this one. It's not picking it up on camera. It just sort of looks bluey purple, but there's this beautiful like green sheen like you would expect from a scarab. I guess it tears even when you don't want it to tear. Yeah, you can kind of pick it up now. See the, the green on the light. That one's definitely my favorite. I've enjoyed my thinking putties and there are many more varieties of these available in stores. You just have to find the right store that's selling them. Um, and you can get the big tins or the little tins depending on where you look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Hoard. Bye.